Yo, 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 I'm back with another one. I'm gonna do something a little different with this one. I'm gonna do a reaction video to what Patrick Peterson and Brian McFadden said on the All Things Cover podcast. It was very interesting to me because they, they was talking about how fans are critical of athletes. So stay tuned, check this clip out, and I'll give you all my reaction to it. About your performance or what you've done, and it could bother you. But you also got to realize there's one thing I'd like to say to our listeners and our viewers tuning in to us. What I, that's why I don't like watching football in sports bars and places where there are a lot, there's a lot of commentary going yeah. on because it's hard for me to look at the game, watch the game, enjoy it as a fan. But then I'm hearing this person say, oh, man, I can't believe he dropped that. Oh, man. Oh, I couldn't make that throw. No, you could not have. <laughs> because if you could, you would be doing it. Right. You, you know you couldn't. That'd you be couldn't. Man, I could have made that throw. I could have made that tackle. No. I could have made that no. kick. Man, Shut old dude up, told me man. a long time ago, anybody can make the Pro Bowl from their couch. Right. <laughs> Just think about can. how many Pro Bowls you've made from your couch. Man, it's not that easy, man. Respect the crowd. That's what Troy, I, man, my good teammate Troy Polamalu used to always say, man, respect the crowd and respect the preparation that goes into what these guys are doing, regardless if you're on a good team, record-wise, or if you're on a bad team. You have to understand, it is hard to do what these guys are doing. Our job is no different. Your job is no different. My past job is no different than what you do nine to five. How would you feel if you're an accountant and we're sitting here seeing some of the mistakes you made number wise? And we and if we say, oh, man, how he made that mistake? I could have done that. I could have done better than that. Right. Just think about how disrespectful that is to that accountant who's prepped almost their entire life for that role. And they have that role, but they made a few minor mistakes here and there that was visible for all of us to see. Yep. You've been playing a game of football your entire life. You've been prepped to cover people. The same can be said for me. I was prepped to cover people. Every game you step out, you're not going to have your best game. People right. going to catch passes on you. People going to make you miss tackles. You're going to lose contain. It happens. No doubt about it. So for those naysayers or critics that say, I can't believe he did that. I No, you could not do it. <laughs> he said no. No, you couldn't do it because you could. If, if someone could pay you a million dollars or a few million dollars to go out here and tackle somebody, if you were good enough to do it, you would be getting paid also. No doubt about it. Hands down. <laughs> so just be mindful. Because one thing I understand, too, as a fan now, being retired from the game for some years, fans get all the way involved in the game. Mm -hmm. They get extremely invested. They, coaches. They, get, they, they coaches. get invested. They coaches. They get all the way invested. <laughs> and I love that passion from fans. I really do. But right. fans must understand and remember as well. You're not, you, you, you never will be more invested than the players that are playing. And that's where they got to come to a, real, a realization with themselves. <laughs> like, you would never be more. I don't care how much money you pay for a ticket. You would never be more invested than a no. player into the game. Period. No, no. Because what and the I love guys the fans, do. I love their passion as well, but. Yeah. yeah. I love the passion. I, I love the passion. And I, every fan is not like that. But then you have some fans like, you know, the guy who came at Lamar Jackson and, and said what he said. It wasn't all the way directed at Lamar Jackson, but just basically saying, you know, he, he needs some help. He can't do it by himself. And the Ravens, do they, they need to help him out. But some fans just be extremely disrespectful in their commentary to what they see. And like I said, that's why sometimes I can't really watch the game around people because I'm like, oh, they kept, they're so, they're so critical. And they analyze, oh, how did he miss that tackle? Wait a minute. He's playing against another person who's the best in the world at what he does. Right. This man is considered the best in the world at what he does. So let's say if you're a freaking lawyer, right? You're a defense attorney. You're going against another attorney who's the best. Bro, their points might be a little more better than your points. You know what I mean? So it happens. It's a, it's a tongue of war uh, affair. That's why Dick LeBeau used to tell us all the time, Pat P, sometimes the bear gets you. Sometimes, sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. Yep. But in my, our profession, what keeps you around, if you get the bear more than the bear gets you. 100%. That's it. That's it. That's how it is, man. So, hey, Pat P, you a vet. You know how to handle critics. And uh, keep doing what you're doing because they can't be too critical of your play this year because you've been on fire. Man, that was a good one, man. I got so much to say, but I'm going to try to keep it short. I'm, I'm basically going to just dissect, um, dissect and 
and go into a little bit more detail on what they were they were saying and give y'all my opinions about what they were saying. Everything they were saying was 100% true. And I'm not talking from a perspective of someone that's on the couch. I'm talking about, I'm talking about it from a perspective that someone's that's still in the game. I'm, I'm in my mid-30s and I'm still playing the game at a high level. So I feel like my opinion can validate some of the things they were talking about because I'm still in the game and I'm still playing it pretty good in my opinion. Yes, I haven't made it to the NFL, but I've been pretty damn close. I have some had some NFL looks. So I'm a uh like I said, I'm gonna break break that down. In my opinion, I do think a lot of fans feel like they could walk onto the field and just perform. It, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. I know I make some posts about, man, I, I, you know, I know I could play with them guys. I do know I could play with them guys, but at the same time, I'm in the trenches daily trying to make it to play with those guys. So my perspective is way different than someone that's just sitting on the couch playing video games, playing Madden, and feel like they could do it. My perspective is different from guys that's that played 10 years ago in high school or 20 years ago in middle school, et cetera, that ain't played, you know, in forever and never played past an amateur level. So it's different. I'm knee deep into it. So when fans are critical of athletes, I, I it, it really bothers me. And it really, you know, it really, you know, it really, it, it offends me. I'm going to be honest, it offends me. Even though I'm not, like I said, even though I'm not an NFL player, I am and have been a professional athlete for about a good 10 to 12, about 10, I said a solid 10 years. From 2011 when I first made my professional debut to now, you know, so a little bit more than 10 years. So I know what I'm talking about. So when you criticize these criticize these guys, think you got to think about it. It takes a tremendous amount of fortitude, dedication to your craft to to even be able to play with the best of the best. Cause these are the best of the best guys. That's why when I see them make a mistake on Sundays, unless it's just something that I know for a fact that could have been prevented, I really don't like to critique or criticize it because it's hard. You know, like he says, sometimes you get the bad, sometimes the bad get you. Them guys get paid too on the other side. The receivers get paid, the DBs get paid. You know, the D linemen get paid. Everybody's getting paid. So, you know, sometimes you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get got. That's just how it go. That's on any level, you know. That's why it's, it's, it's football, you know. But when you sit up in a bar and just say, I feel like I could do this, I feel like I could do that. How he dropped that, how he dropped that. No, you, like he said, no, you couldn't. It's hard, it's hard, man, it's hard, it's hard. It's very hard. No matter, you know, I know a lot of y'all watch my videos and my uh, workouts. That's I know that shit look easy, but it is hard, man. Every day you think about, like, you know, why do you put your body through this? You know, you know, you got to just get up and do it. Same thing like y'all go to work. You go to your nine to five. You got to get up and do it. That's how athletes look at, you know, their, their profession. Yeah. And then it's not like a typical nine to five where you could go in with a twisted ankle and still perform to the best of your ability. Most at most nine to fives, you know, if you go to with a twisted ankle to in the NFL, you might you might get exposed. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like that was a that was a good you know a good a good um, thing to react to and a good pop, uh, clip from a podcast because I I do feel like that. A lot. I do feel like that a lot. People just ask me, why you're not in the NFL? Yeah, hell, it's hard. It's hard to get there. Just because you ain't there don't mean you ain't good enough. I agree with that. But for the guys that's not even involved in it, it's not, you know, in the game, you can't say you are good enough to do it because you're not even trying, you know? You're not in, involved in it. That's like me going to uh, 
this say oil field, but like me going to the oil field, like man, I should I know I could do all that stuff in the oil field, but I ain't never been in the oil field. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I could do it or not. You know, you just you just you can't be like that. You can't be critical of something that you're not involved in. You know, you need to, you know, I ain't saying you have to admire these athletes, but you do you do have to respect, like you said, to respect the craft, because it's a lot that goes into the craft mentally and physically. More mental than physical. It's more mental than physical because you have to mentally prepare yourself day in and day out to put your body through hell to be able to perform at the highest level that you can perform at. You know, it's not easy. And I know a, guy, a lot of people don't respect what I do because it's not in the NFL. It's not, I haven't got to the NFL. I ain't did it. But I have won on every level I've been on. I have won several championships. I got hardware, you know. Like I said, I've been to the pinnacle almost. You know, the only reason I didn't make it to the NFL because of um, the lack of mainly support and the lack of knowledge and the lack of not knowing how to train correctly until later on in my career. So, and that's that's just that's just the luck of the draw, you know. It wasn't because I wasn't good enough. It wasn't because I wasn't talented enough. That's that's all it comes to. You got everything got to fall in place to be able to get to that level. So, yeah, man, I just I just thought that was unique. That was a unique video, and that that that, that before y'all criticize another athlete, I want y'all to think about it. Could y'all really ask yourself, really? Could I really do this? Ask yourself, could I really put my body through this day in and day out? Because you know the answer, and that's no.